Hi guys, this is ZachoX. Today we're going to go over a simple little game that I created last night. Um, it took me about an hour. Uh, the artwork that I have on here I got from various websites. Um, I used Yahoo and just searched pig or piggy bank. Um, since this can be used for educational purposes, we don't have to worry about uh, about using them in this video so or this project. So what I have here is a user control. And if you'd watched my other videos, a lot of this code is going to make sense. So I'm just going to go over it. Um, so I have the user control here. And what I added was an image and a second one. So the first image is just IMG pig 1. And the second one is IMG pig 2. Um, this pig just looks normal like that. And the other pig looks like, oh, he's a little excited. We got some money here. Okay, so I'm going to move this over make a match. This one is visible while the other one is invisible. Um, then we have a little label here that is a control array. It's LBL money. Starts at zero for the control array. And then we have a timer here. Timer money. Now this space right here that is the user control which is called piggy bank. Um, but the space right here you see these dots that's the grid because there's some space right here. I put some space because this timer is going to make um, another control array for the label and it's going to move upwards and once it gets here it's going to unload that control array so um, with this property that property that I made I'm going to show you in a minute it's called money um, anytime you add in a string of uh, money it's going to move it up right here um, and it's going to say what it is so if we say 100 bucks it's going to move up and say 100 bucks and it's going to disappear and if you enter in a bunch of money real quickly um, because this is a label uh, control array it can load as many labels as we need um, for this to work so what we're going to do here now is go to the view code Let's show it real quick so we have our option explicit we have the string money as a string we have initial prop properties the string money is equal to just a default for now money sign money sign money sign money sign money sign um, then at the show, we're going to say that the first label dot caption is equal to string money. Don't really need it at the show, but we're going to do that. Um, resize, resizing the control so the piggy fits instantly in the um, form. And then this is the money property. See, just as money is equal to the string money that we have from above. And here's the let statement. So anytime the money changes, this, this new string money will be the new money amount. So the variable is equal to that, and then we're going to load a new label control. First we'll count the uh, top one, which would be zero because we only have one set zero. Then we add one, we'll have a new one. Uh, so we'll have a label control array at one index. Um, and then we'll take that one, and since now it's the top one, this would be one right here. LBL money one dot caption equals string money. And then we're going to position that same one to a default position. And then we're going to make that one visible. So we added a new control array and we added properties to it or changed the properties. Um, then we're going to let Windows breathe with the do events. And then we have a function down here. Now, the reason we have the do events is so that we don't have any glitching um, with the pictures. You won't see a white background as easily. Um, Windows will get here do whatever it needs to and then it has time to load these pictures properly on the um, change their vis visible excuse me making vis vis visible ha! visible or not um, so we use the money negative function which is down here we're going to look at that first as boolean so we can only get true or false and then we use a temporary um, variable currency t so we're using currency right here it's equal to convert the string money variable to a current currency. Uh, check to see if money is negative. If it is less than zero, then money is negative equals true. Else money negative equals false. So that's the return here for this function. So we go up and it says if money negative equals true, then the first picture of the piggy is going to show and not the one where he's happy that he got money. Else it's going to show he's happy and he got money and that this normal picture it doesn't show anymore. Now the reason we have to have visual 
true first, visible true first, um, is because if we set this equals to false first and then true, then we'll see a white loading to the next picture. So basically, if a picture on top of another picture at this point that this says equals true, but then we turn the other one to false, so you only see one picture. And then the property changes. Um, and to save it, so we go down to the properties, read properties, and write properties. Pretty simple. And we go down, and here's the timer money. Um, timer money, let's see the interval for it. Is it this one, yes, is 500. Okay, we're going to close that because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to minimize this one. If it will let me. Sure, it's taking a long time. Okay. Uh, not that one yet. That's the one I wanted to not show. Okay, so here's the timer. And then um, we have a loop here for INT next number. Here's the first time we're going to have an error. So to avoid this error, because we have to, um, the only way is to use uh, resume next or we'd have to use a lot more code. So we're just going to use on re error resume next. It's a lot easier. Um, so we're going to move the label money up. So for all the label monies from zero, but we're not using zero. Zero is just a no, it's just the first label there. We're going to load control arrays indexes off zero. So we're going to have one and and whatever else. So we're going to say from one, which is here, see now it's one, to everything else label money whichever one it is dot top is equal to the same top it has minus four that's how it's going to move up if label uh, money the same same label money dot top equals zero then unload that money um, label so as it gets close to the the top of the user control it will uh, just disappear and then we check to disable timer if the only money left loaded in the control ray index is zero then that means there's no more money running. Um, so we turn the timer off. We let Windows breathe to show pictures better. We do events. And we make the pig look normal because he's not getting any more money. So that's done there. OK. So now, after closing that user control, I'm able to add it. And I click here and draw on it, and it drew it in. So we have our piggy here. Um, you can test this by just going to your money property right here and put in a hundred bucks and it'll actually work but we're not going to mess with that right now um, so we have our user control piggy and you prefix it with UC piggy bank is the name but the UC is the prefix and then I have two timers up here a timer for when the money disappears and a timer for the random money what's going to happen here is the money is going to randomly uh, be in a position within this uh, picture box right here that is pick money area the shape is shape money area behind it it's just a black box to make the picture box look a little bit um, more visible then I have money stacks I have um, these are control arrays again um, so we have IMG money see here it's just an image but the index starts at one here index starts at two and then here for three so in the code we're going to see that when you click on this one we're going to get five hundred dollars this one we're going to get a thousand five hundred this one we're going to get five thousand it's a pretty big stash but it's really small and hard to click plus these all have a percentage of uh, how much they're going to show up so for instance this is going to show up sixty percent of the time thirty percent of the time and ten percent of the time so it's going to be kind of cool to see that code um, 